Hi, I'm Claire McIntosh. How would you like to win all these books for your summer reading? Day of the Dead is the climax of the series in which Frida Klein, a forensic psychologist, is battling with her nemesis, Dean Reed. I absolutely loved it. It's a masterpiece. A Double Life by Flynn Berry, about a, a privileged family, a father who's been missing for many, many years, think Lord Lucan, and about the legacy that that leaves for his daughter, who has no idea if he's still alive, what he's done, has he done the terrible things he's accused of, uh, a really cracking read. Holly Seddon's Love Will Tear Us Apart, Look at that gorgeous cover. Slight change in genre for her it is, as you can probably guess, a sort of love story, but it's a love story involving a couple who've been married for a very long time. It's really moving, really quite thought provoking, and I think you'll enjoy it. Oh, 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 this book. Keith Stewart wrote A Boy Made of Blocks, which was a Richard and Judy pick a couple of years ago. This is his second book. It is just joyous. It's about a father and his daughter who is terminally ill and the lengths that he goes to to make her life amazing. It's just beautiful. Two young kids uh, sitting in a car, broken down by the side of the road. Mum goes off to get help. I'll be back soon, she says. She doesn't come back. Booker Long Listed. It's such a fantastic book. It's so tightly written. It's so exciting. Just the beginning alone is enough to, to make you want to read on. I'm not going to tell you anything else about it because uh, you just need to pick it up and read it. The Cliff House by Amanda Jennings. Another really lovely cover. This is such an atmospheric book. It's set in Cornwall. Tamsin is 16. She uh, lives um, with her, her mum and her brother in a little village in Cornwall. She looks up at the, uh, at the cliffs um, overlooking the beach where the cliff house is, this beautiful white art deco house. She longs to be part of that family, part of that world. But when she does start to become part of it, she realises it's perhaps not as golden as it seems on the outside. Very atmospheric book and definitely one for anyone who loves a coastal read. Fatal Inheritance by Rachel Reese which is a pseudonym for Tammy Cohen, who also writes psychological thrillers. Rachel Reese's first book in this um, genre, this is a, a historical crime, was A Dangerous Crossing, which was a Richard and Judy pick. This one is my favourite so far. I wish you could feel this because the spine is embossed. It's set on the French Riviera. Just the costumes alone really made me want to, to live this. It is just fabulous. I love Jenny Colgan. It's possible that you might see this and, and think it's a bit sort of light for you. And if you're thinking that, then I'm here to tell you that you are wrong. It's set on an island up in the north of Scotland where um, the days are very, very long in the summer and very, very short in the winter. The story is about Flora, who runs a, a cafe there. Um, it's actually the sequel to another book um, about how Flora ends up on, on this island. It features Saif, who is a Syrian refugee, now the GP on the island. Um, and there's a very big part of the story, which is about how his children come back to him. Jenny Colgan's one of my favourite authors, and I think you'll really enjoy that. An Italian Summer by Fanny Blake. Proper holiday sunshine read, this one. Sandy's 50, she's at a bit of a crossroads, doesn't quite know what to do with her life. Her mother leaves her an envelope in amongst her possessions that is addressed to someone in Italy, and Sandy decides that she needs to deliver this letter to this Italian man. And so the story is about that journey and about the journey that Sandy makes to discover who she is. It's full of um, gorgeous food and gorgeous weather and you will want to be in Italy when you read this. So those are just nine of the incredible books that I've read so far this year and you can win the lot. All you have to do is follow the link below.